Thank you guys for joining me. Uh, as I mentioned in the last video, I was in the process of setting up my home office. You can see some stuff behind me I do need to clean up, you know, obviously make it look a little more organized. I'm also going to be rearranging the position of the computer. As you can see, the wires are just out and about here on the desk. Uh, I do have a monitor set up. It's ready to go. Uh, it does have power. The Raspberry Pi is here. It's all in the case. I do want to point one thing out. The manual that did come with the Canakit, the Quick Start Guide, um, where it tells you to put the, um, heat sinks, there's really no defined pictures. I was looking at, you know, just looking for a little diagram, uh, you know, quickly, uh, to see if there were any, uh, you know, places to put the, uh, uh, the heat sinks. And down here in the second paragraph under optional items, uh, it does mention, uh, the actual heat sinks themselves. So the heat sinks are on, there's a fan attached, and I do have the SD card in there, uh, that is ready to go to be fired up, and the fail safe. Uh, this is in the event that I ever need to wipe the machine out, but there already is a pre-installed card in there. One of the nice things about this unit is it does have a power cord for the Pi, which I'm going to go ahead and connect into the USB-C connector. So... There is uh, obviously power coming out of the Pi, and it is starting to boot up. So this is the first boot uh, for the Pi, so it should bring me to the Noobs uh, operating system, where I should be able to uh, select uh, what operating system I want to use. Uh, as you can see here, it's loading the Noobs nodes. Let me move the camera a little closer so you guys can get a better view of that. So... What I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to be uh, selecting uh, Raspbian, as that is the operating system I'm going to be using for this. Uh, Actually, before I do that, one moment, I'll be right back. I want to get my wireless set up. Uh, I did mention in the last video, just to throw this out there, uh, that I was setting up a wireless access point, uh, which was going to uh, handle uh, the wireless. However, the access point that I purchased, uh, unfortunately, doesn't relay the wireless signal. It does need to be directly connected. Uh, so I am going to set up the wireless uh, on this first. I just need to uh, run upstairs quickly and get the password. Then I'll be right back once this is online, and then we'll resume uh, getting the operating system set up. One moment. All right, I'm back. Got the Raspberry Pi during the setup screen onto the wireless network here. Now, as you can see from the menu, it's slightly different than a moment ago. Uh, that's because once the Raspberry Pi, once the Noob's uh, operating system connects to the internet, it does download some additional uh, operating systems you can put on. Uh, for example, uh, you can do a... Uh, Media Center. You can use Kodi. Uh, that'll there's a pre-install that'll do that. There's uh, with desktop environment, without desktop environment. Uh, there's one in here that'll make it a, a NAS, and there's also a retro game emulator. So if anyone wanted to uh, set up one of those old school Nintendo uh, emulators, Mike, talking to you, um, that might be an easy way to do it. Anyway, uh, I'm going to be using uh, Raspbian itself, the recommended version. Uh, there's also a 30-day trial of a Debian-based Linux on here, uh, but uh, I'm not going to be using that. I'm just going to go for the straight-up uh, Raspbian install. So I'm going to click Install. Warning, this is going to wipe out this drive. There's nothing else on it. This is a brand-new SD card. Hit Yes. And now it's going to go ahead and install. The reason it does prompt that it's going to wipe out is in the event that you did want to do, uh, you know, some sort of, you know, factory uh, reinstall. That's what this is for. Um, you can always put this in and uh, start it fresh. Or you can always flash the SD card that's in there and put another operating system on it. Now, this is going to take uh, quite some time. I just want to point out one other thing about this. On the bottom of the screen, it does have a language selection. The default is English, British English. Uh, so I just switched it uh, as I'm in the States. I switched it over to English US. Very similar language. So uh, that's a little bit of a change. It's just going to go through a couple setup uh, screens now. Uh, it does have uh, five gigs worth of data to download. So I'm going to stop the video. And in, from your perspective, I'll be right back once this is complete.
And we're done. That took about an hour and 20 minutes for the entire install to go through. We now have the screen going that it is successfully installed. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit enter there. Uh, this now is going to go ahead and reboot and come back in a moment with the uh, fully installed operating system. Okay, and there we go. It's now booting up. It's a little slower on the boot than I expected. Ah, here we go. And now the Raspberry Pi, it's at the uh, completion screen. Uh, it's fully installed. It just wants us to do a couple things uh, to get set up before it's ready to use. As you can see, the resolution, I apologize for hitting that. Uh, as you can see, the resolution uh, has uh, significantly come down. Uh, this is now showing uh, 4K uh, video, so that'll be very nice uh, going forward uh, with some YouTube editing, as well as you know watching television and all that uh, on the Raspberry in addition to work. So uh, I'm gonna finish setting this up and uh, show you in a minute uh, what the desk looks like when it's uh, fully completed. All right, the setup's done. I've rewired the desk, so obviously it does look a little neater uh, with one of these pop-outs uh, on the back of the desk. Ran the wires through, it's nice. I can reach the power button right here for the Raspberry Pi, which really only need to turn it on. It is Linux-based or even with Windows nowadays, you know, you just do a, you know, a shutdown right from the menu. So uh, the resolution on this is very nice. So far, it does seem like it's going to work very well as a work machine. It has a uh, LibreOffice installed, which is perfect because that's what I use on both my Linux machine at home as well as my Windows laptop, uh, which I do use to take out the clients. Uh, so uh, over the next couple days, I'll be testing this out, making sure that it has all the software that I do need and also the performance that I need uh, for a working machine. Again, I thank you guys very much for watching. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Do hit that subscribe button and be sure to check out some additional videos that are going to be coming out soon. Take care.